stampers! Welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to look at some cards that would be nice for all the young ladies in your life and maybe even some of the older ladies in your life. These cards were all made with a stamp set called Hey Girlfriend. And this stamp set is found in the Stampin' Up! January through June 2021 mini catalog. And as most of you know, that catalog will be retiring at the end of June. And sad to say, this stamp set is one of the stamp sets that will be retiring with the catalog. But you still have time to get your hands on it if you would like. So I thought we would take opportunity today to make a card um, using this stamp set. If you like to color, this is definitely the stamp set for you. So as you can see, I've done quite a bit of coloring. I used a lot of this Stampin' Blends. But I also have done some paper piecing. And so I thought that we would work on that today and make a card similar to this one, except it will be in the um, landscape orientation like these two. And we're going to use um, this image, this girl right here, but we're going to use some a Poppy Parade and some DSP that is from the new annual catalog. So let's see what we're going to need to make this card. Here is the um, designer series paper. And it is the 6x6 um, six six Designer Series Paper in the Brights. And this is the Poppy Parade. And for the card, this needs to be 2 by 4 and a quarter. But um, don't worry about the measurements. I will have them on my blog. And below this video in the description, there will be a link to my blog where you'll find the measurements and supply list and all of that for all of the cards. But you'll need that. Or actually any piece of designer series paper. I would um, suggest you use something with a smaller pattern as the images are quite small. But I have used some bigger, um, uh, still small but not tiny patterns and they worked as well. For example, on this card, I used this from the Flowering Cactus um, paper. And this is her dress, and it worked out. Oh, you know, it worked out pretty good. So, but just be aware of how tiny these pieces of clothing will be that you'll be cutting out. <clears throat> so we have the designer series paper, and then we're going to need a whisper. Or no, I'm sorry, it's basic white. I don't know if I will ever get accustomed to saying basic white, but it's basic white cardstock that is. Four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, scored and folded at five and a half. And then we'll also need a piece of basic white that is one and a half by, I think it's this one, one and a half by three and a quarter. And this one is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the Poppy Parade is one and three quarter by three and a half and two and a half by four and a quarter. So we're going to put all these pieces aside for right at the moment, and we'll do a little stamping. We'll stamp our girl first. We're going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Ink up the stamp. We'll stamp her right here. And now we're going to stamp her again, or at least part of her, on the designer series paper. Now all we need to do is fussy cut her dress. And for this, you know, sometimes when you're fussy cutting, you want to leave just a little border outside of the line. 
But for this, because we're going to um, adhere it right to the image, we need to stay pretty close to the black line. Just go around, move your paper as you go, kind of makes it a little bit easier. I'm not great at fussy cutting. Um, it's one of my goals this year to do more of it, and so far I have. I don't mind doing it. Um, I kind of like dyes better, but you know, this is a good, good technique to learn. Cutting her head off. <laughs> and then get rid of V. I like these paper snips because you can really get into the little tight places with them. They cut all the way to the end, which is great. And we're done. And of course we will um, color her in with Stampin' Blends and I have one already colored. I wasn't going to make you sit there and watch me color her in. And as you can see, I've made her a blonde. This will be my sister Kelly. She's a blonde. <laughs> and we are going to adhere this with some multi-purpose glue. That way it'll give us a little bit of wiggle um, so we can get it exactly right. We won't have to worry about it sticking and not being able to remove it. But before we do that, what I did, I took my um, Poppy Parade Stampin' Blend and I just kind of went over the belt just a little. Kind of give it a little bit of... Uh, differentiated a little bit from the paper. So now we're ready to adhere this. I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet. Mm, excuse me, I need to grab my glue. And let's see here. Yes, that's way too much, but I'll show you a little trick that I have. If I get too much glue or when I'm um, actually putting this on small um, pieces, just can't seem to get enough. There we go. So what I do is I take a small piece of paper towel The piece up with the paper towel, pull it apart, and now some of the glue is gone. And it makes it real easy to move around where you want it. And there we go. There's our focal image. And so now we're going to adhere her to this piece of Poppy Parade, and we will use the get my dimensionals out of the way. We'll use the Stampin' Seal. So there she is. And now we'll put these pieces together like that. We only have to worry about um, each side. We don't have to worry about the top and bottom because these are all the same length. And this needs to come down a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to turn it over. Oh, I 
think the edges are all have all met up fairly well. And now I need to get my mat again, my silicone craft sheet, because we're going to put some um, white twine, some baker's twine, around this piece. So what I do, I may need to put, there we go, just put this to get it started, I'm going to wrap this around once, twice, three, and I think maybe four times. Hmm. off a little another little piece of the twine and we'll make oh if I can tie it I may have cut this too small oh, it'll be okay as you can see I have plenty of ink on my fingers today I've been working on cards most of the day so I have actually washed my hands a couple times not that it mattered I just got them all inky again it's just kind of one of the hazards of card making, I guess. And there we go. Oh, I think I... I am not the best bow tire in the world, believe me. There we go. I'm going to just make these a little smaller. Trim the ends. Get our card base. This may need a little more of the stampin' seal because we really want it to stick to the card base really well. I'm going to move this over a little ways from the edge, maybe a quarter of an inch. Adhere that. Now we're going to take those dimensionals get the backs off and she goes right about here then I have a greeting that says, "Be always be yourself. We'll stamp that and some Poppy Parade. Let me just check. That looks good. So, always be yourself. And then for the inside, oh, I'll still need the Poppy Parade. But I decided since this was um, white, we would just um, stamp on the card. And this is the basic white thick, so it makes a really nice card base. And this says, you're a tough act to follow. So always be yourself. You're a tough act to follow. And there's the card. That went fairly quickly. So there's the card we just made together. Here's the other version of it in the portrait view. Here's another in the landscape. Another landscape. And then here's the card with all three of the young ladies. And there we go. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, in the description of this video will be a list of, or a link to my blog where you'll find a list of all the supplies and all the cutting dimensions to make these cards. 
And I just hope you've had a wonderful day today. Until next time, stamp happy.